Good day and welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. For the past 22 days, we have been studying Psalm 119. And we have done it stanza by stanza. And we have seen how the truth of the word of God operates when we read it and apply it to our lives. We see that the psalmist did this and it brought him comfort, deliverance. Um, when he was in pain or being afflicted, it also helped him. And so this morning, we are going to look again at the, as an overview of what we went through in all these 22 stanza. Just want to let you know that Philip Henry, the father of Matthew Henry, advised his children to take a verse of this particular psalm every morning and to meditate upon it. And in so doing, they would have gone through this particular psalm twice in any given year. He said it will cause them to fall in love with the rest of the scripture. He often said all graces grow as love to the word of God grows. I encourage you today to do the same as I do the same for myself. Just going over the 22 benefits that we experience or will experience when we spend time in the word of God. We see in the first stanza, which is verse 1 through 8, that the word of God completes us. We are blessed and we become rounded in the things of God. We see in the second stanza, in verse 9 through 16, that the word of God purifies. It cleanses the heart. We see in the third stanza that God's word counsel us if we read from verse 17 through 24. Wise counsel, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is in the word of God. When we look at stanza 4, we see that the word strengthens or it revives us in verse 25 through 32. We can become wary at times. But when we look to the word of God, we can be strengthened. Stanza 5, the word of God revives our sanctification in verse 33 through 40. We need to be sanctified, to be cleansed and to be made pure. And the word of God ju does uh, just that. The sixth stanza tells us the word of God revives our salvation in verse 41 through verse 48. So there is revival in the word of God. Stanza 7 tells us that God's word comforts us when we are in pain. How many times we are in pain, emotional pain, financial pain, marital pain, occupational pain, psychological pain, spiritual pain, mental pain, social pains, pains of every different sort, we can find comfort in the word of God. Stanza 8 says that the word calms us from panic. We realize that even during the pandemic, fear takes the heart of man. But what we can do is trust the word of God and praise and it will give us calm even in the time when it should be a time of panic or even during our pandemic. We see in stanza 9 that God's word brings correction when we are in problem. Because many times the problem that we face, it comes upon us because maybe of something that we do wrong. And the word has to chasten us. 
So we see that the word of God will chase us and bring us back to the place that we ought to be in trusting God. So the word of God will chase me. We see in stanza 9 that the word equip us for ministry. We must be a light to the world. We must tell forth the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so we must be a witness. It tells us in stanza 11 that when we are witnessing, it encourages us for the ministry also in verse 81 through 88. We see where in stanza 12 that it establishes us for the ministry. For those of us who preach the good news of the gospel of Christ, it is saying to us, you have your own individual pulpit. You don't have to be a preacher or a teacher to be a witness to tell of the love of Jesus Christ. Stanza 13 says, God's word educates us for ministry. It is the source of our education, the complete library, all 66 books that are daring. And in verse 97 to 104, we will see where it educates us. In stanza 14, God's word confirms our movement. It order our steps. It say we should not put our feet in the broad way. It is a light and it is a lamp and it guides our feet in the way of righteousness. In stanza 15, God's word caution our manners. We need to be people of good manners. And in verse 113 through 120, it tells us how to behave. In stanza 16, God's word clarifies our morals. Verse 121 to 128. It allows us or causes us when we read and obey it to do that which is right. Stanza 17 says the word creates a passion for our obedience. Total obedience to the word of God as we see that the psalmist did that. He didn't only read it, but he reads it with all good intention to obey it. He says he hastened to obey it. In stanza 18, the word creates a passion for truth. 137 to 144. God's words are truth. And because we know they are true, we can trust them and to live a life that is a life of truth according to the word of God. In 19, stanza 19 says it creates a passion for God himself that we will know that he is a sovereign God. And whatsoever he does, he does it out of a heart of love. And we see that in verse 145 to verse 152. God's word provides rescue from affliction. And we see that in verse 153 to 160. Many times we are afflicted. Many times we are cast down. But we can trust the word of God that he will strengthen and lift us up. Stanza 21, God's word provides a removal for the stumbling blocks or the indurances that are in our way. Verse 161 through 168. And finally, in verse 20, um, stanza 22, God's word provides a return back to God. We see those that have wandered. The psalmist says, when we use and trust the word of God, it will cause us uh, to come back. Uh, because we stray like lost sheep, uh, but we will come back uh, to the good shepherd. My encouragement to you this morning is, uh, let us read it uh, the word of God, with a desire to obey it, the entire 66 books. Let us study it, because by reading it, we will create a passion for it, and then we'll study it. Let us meditate upon it, as the psalmist says, day and night. It will cause us to, to have spontaneous praise when we look at the goodness and the love of God. Let us practice it. Let it be a practical thing in our everyday life. Let us pray the words back to God so that he will hear and answer our prayer. Let us pass it on to others 
so that they too can share in the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let us be reminded that it is the word of God. We should speak it with our mouth. We should store up these words in our heart. We should show these words in our lives and we should sow it into the world. God bless you and thank you again for watching.